Thank you. We bless your holy name. We appreciate you for a day like this. That will remember the ultimate sacrifice our precious Jesus paid on the cross at Calvary to redeem us back to the Most High. Thank you, Jesus, for coming and for saving our souls. Father, we commit this morning special prayer bombardment to your hands. We pray you take absolute control and let your name alone be glorified. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Lord, I lift your name on Lord, I lift your name on Lord, I love to sing your praise. Lord, I love to sing your praise. I'm so glad you reign in my heart. I'm so glad you reign in my heart. I'm so glad you came to save me. You came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to the cross. My death you pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on you came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to the cross my death you pay from the cross to the green, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on earth. Lord, I lift your name on earth. Lord, I lift your name on earth. You came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to the cross my dad you pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on earth. lord i lift your name on earth. lord i lift your name on earth. Oh Jesus, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. Oh Savior, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift your name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show me the way from the earth to the cross my death you pay from the cross to the grave from the grave to the sky lord i lift your name on i just want to see want to see baba oh, oh, eh, i just want to see oh, eh, baba oh, eh, i want to see I just want to say, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, eh, she. I just want to say, want to say, Baba, oh, eh, she. I just want to say, Lord, I just want to say, want to say, Baba, oh, Baba, oh, eh, she. I just want to say, want to say. Baba o eh Let's go ahead and begin to worship the Lord. Let's lift up our voices 
Let's begin to bless his name. Let's adore him. Let's exalt his holy name. He's worthy to be praised, worthy to be adored, worthy to be exalted, worthy to be lifted on high. There is none like him. There was none like him. There will never be anyone like him. Let's magnify him. Let's give him glory. Let's give him worship. Let's give him adoration. The, the, let's, 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 let's adore his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's worthy to be exalted higher than the highest, better than the best, stronger than the strongest, richer than the richest, deeper than the deepest. Let's worship the Most High. Father, we exalt your holy name. We give you praise. We give you glory. Who is it like thee? Who can compare to thee? You are the incomparable God. You are the God that was. You are the God that is. You are the God that is yet to come. You are the Almighty. O many potent, O many signs, O many present. Father, we bless your name, O Lord. Father, we exalt you. Father, we adore you. Father, we magnify you. Eternal Redeemer, we exalt your holy name, our Savior, our King, our all in all, the God that speaketh and it is done, the God that commanded and is established, the Most High. Father, we bow before your throne. We exalt you. Blessed, 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 blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, mighty Father, in Jesus mighty name we pray amen now this morning I want you to lift up your voice and I want to begin to appreciate God for the salvation of your soul today being the Good Friday the day that we are celebrating we are remembering the death of our Lord Jesus Christ on the cross of the Calvary, if he has not died, if today have not existed in history, there will have been no hope for you and I. I want to thank Lord, I want us to lift up our voices and appreciate him for coming to die in our stead. Let's appreciate him for yielding himself to the will of the Father to pay the price, to pay the supreme price for our sins. Let's go ahead and begin to thank him. Father, I appreciate you for sending your only begotten Son, Jesus, to redeem my soul from sin. Thank you, precious, precious Jesus, for coming. Thank you for dying in my stead. Thank you for coming to destroy the works of darkness, even in my life. Thank you for coming, even to take away my sorrow, to take away my sicknesses and disease. Thank you, precious Jesus, for taking, O oh God, my, the punishment of my sin upon thee. Thank you for the blood that you shared on Calvary. Thank you, O oh God, for your mercy that you show unto me that redeemed me to qualify even to be called the sons of God. Thank you, precious Jesus, for your death on the cross. Thank you, precious Jesus, for your death on the cross. Thank you, precious Jesus, for laying down your life even for my redemption. I am grateful, my Father. I am grateful, my Savior. I am grateful, my King. Blessed, blessed be your name. Oh Lord, thank you, eternal Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to lift up our voices. We want to thank Him for all He has been doing for us. Thank Him for your for His mercy over your life. Thank Him for His protection. Thank Him for His provision. Thank Him for answers to your prayer in the time past. Thank Him for safety. Please, in all the way you know He has been good to you. Can you go ahead and begin to give Him thanks? Father, I return to say thank you this morning. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for what you will yet do. Thank you, O oh God, for the salvation of my soul. Thank you for your hand upon my life. Thank you for making me your choice. Thank you for your eyes that is continually upon me. Thank you, O oh God, for your shadow that covers my life. Thank you for your presence that abides with me. Thank you, O oh God, for safety in all my way. Thank you for fighting all my battle. Thank you, O oh God, for answers to all my prayer. Thank you for my wife. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my life down. Thank you for my rising. Thank you for being there for me in the day. Thank you for being there for me in the night. Thank you for fighting both sin and unseen battles of my life. Thank you for the victory that I have in you. Lord, I give you praise. Lord, I bless your holy name. Thank you, mighty Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, say, Father, Father, 
Say, Father, answer me now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Father, please answer me now, ancient of day. Answer me now by fire, eternal redeemer, the most high God. Answer my cry. Answer my prayer. Answer my petition now by fire. Father, unto you that answered prayers have come. Father, please answer me. Answer me now. Father, please answer me. Answer me now. Father, please answer me. Answer me now. Father, answer all my prayer this morning by fire. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, I want you to pray. I want you to make up your mind to pray this morning because God is going to answer every prayers that we are going to pray this morning, even in the name of Jesus Christ. The next prayer I want you to pray, you want to command if there is any covenant you have inherited either from your father's house or from your mother's house that have qualified you to any affliction or to any bondage, whatever covenant that is attached, that have attached your life to any particular affliction, let that covenant, let it be broken this morning, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready to pray? Say, every inherited covenant. Say every inherited covenant. Can you say it one more time? Recycling the chains and affliction of my father's house in my life. Enough is enough. Say every inherited covenant. Recycling the chains and affliction of my father's house, of my mother's house, in my life, enough is enough. Therefore, break now by the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Every inherited covenant, recycling the chains and afflictions of my father's house in my life. Every inherited covenant, recycling the chains and afflictions of my mother's house in my life. Enough is enough. Therefore, this morning, I command, oh yeah, break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the blood of Jesus. Inherited covenant that is recycling the chains and afflictions of my father's house in my life. I disown you this morning. Oh yeah, break now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Inherited covenant that is recycling the chains and afflictions of my mother's house in my life. I disown you this morning. Oh yeah, break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the blood of Jesus. I say break now by the Lord of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mando rodo shekeli barada senteli handalaba. Blessed, blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, the next prayer you want to pray, you want to command any bloodline altars, any altars that is linked to you, you know, whether from your father's side or your mother's side, that is contending with the manifestations of glory. That altar that is limiting your glory. That altar that is saying you cannot shine because maybe there is an agreement, you know, with your father's house or your mother's house that you cannot shine beyond, I mean, beyond a particular height. Let that altar, let it scatter now in the name of Jesus Christ. Say bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my fathers bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my mothers what are you doing in my life i renounce you now Therefore, bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my fathers, with the manifestation of glory of my of my mothers, in my life, I command, O oh, yeah, catch fire now and burn to ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my fathers. What are you doing in my life? I command, catch fire now and burn to ashes. 
ashes in the name of Jesus Christ. Bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my mothers. Oh, that is operating in my life. I disown you today. Oh, yeah, catch fire and burn to ashes. Oh, yeah, catch fire and burn to ashes. Oh, yeah, catch fire and burn to ashes. Bloodline altars that contended with the manifestation of glory of my father, with the manifestation of glory of my mother. What are you doing in my life? Oh, yeah, catch fire now. Oh, yeah, born to ashes. Oh, yeah, catch fire now. Oh, yeah, born to ashes. Oh, yeah, catch fire now. Oh, yeah, born to ashes. Oh, yeah, catch fire now. Oh, yeah, born to ashes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, you want to pray this prayer and i want to pray with all your heart you want to command by adventure if there's any spiritual presence that your parents were in at the point of giving birth to you that have continued in your life let that prison release you or release your glory or release your destiny now in the mighty name of jesus christ say every spiritual prison can you say with fire Every spiritual prison that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every spiritual prison that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual prison that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual prison that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now. I come out of you now. I come out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Spiritual prison that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now by fire. My glory come out of you now by fire. My destiny come out of you now by fire. Spiritual prisons that my parents were when I was giving birth to, I come out of you now. My glory come out of you now. My destiny come out of you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we thank you for answers to all our prayers. Lord, as we go into your word, we pray you will speak to us next morning. Through your word, let our victory be established in more. Thank you, eternal Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want to welcome you again this morning to this medium. Today is Friday, the Good Friday, where we are where we remember the day our Lord Jesus Christ decided to go to the cross to die on your behalf, on my behalf, so that we can be free from the yoke of sins and the guilt of sins and be redeemed back to our Father. So I want to say Happy Good Friday to every one of us. Now this morning I want to consider something very briefly and then uh, we continue with our prayers. Amen. You know, as, just as I said today, all over the world, we remember uh, we're celebrating the sacrifice that our Lord Jesus, you know, made on our behalf. Thank God he decided to die. That's what give you and I hope of eternal life. If he has not died in our stead, what will have been the hope of our life? Praise the Lord. Now, when it came to Pay the price, and then uh, he walked through this life in a bodily form. And then one of his reasons of his coming, apart from to save us from our sins, is to destroy the works of darkness, is to exchange his riches for our poverty. So through his our poverty, would not be uh, poor again, but would become rich. You know, he was beaten so that. Uh, our sicknesses and disease can be taken care of. You know, suffer shame so that we will not be put to shame in life. 
Now, but when it was about time for him to go, you know, he started having the farewell meetings with his disciple. On one of the occasions of the farewell meeting, he released something unto them that becomes our inheritance. And that's what we want to focus on tonight, on this morning, and that is what we call peace. In the book of John chapter 14, John chapter 14, if you look at verse 27, John chapter 14, verse 27, it says, Peace I live with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the word giveth, give I unto you. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. Amen. Now, peace is by him. In fact, in the book of Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6, the Bible tells us that he is the prince of peace. Amen. Now, he knew what lies ahead. He knew what is going to come the way of the disciples, of his followers. You know, he knew that um, a time will come, there will be sorrow, there will be chaos, there will be tumult. There will be anxiety, just like the time we are in now. A lot of people are living in fear. The fear of the unknown, the fear of the coronavirus, the fear of, oh, let it not come near me. Oh, oh, you know, if it comes near me, what will be my fear? I mean, so there's so much fear. Even the fear of what to eat, the fear of uncertainties. Oh, many are locked up, you know, they're not going out, no businesses, no work. Oh, so what's going to be my fate if this thing continues till next week, till next month? What... I mean, what is going to be my faith? You know, so there are a lot of anxiety. You know, so he knew there would be a time like this. So he dropped something very important for you and I. He said, peace I live with you. Amen. Peace I live with you. He said, my peace I give unto you. Why? Because he's the prince of peace. He said, not as the word giveth, give I unto you. Let not they have the trouble. I mean, how did it? I mean, it let not the word say, is it my is it not as the world give it? How does the world give it? The world only give peace when it is available. Amen. So it means it is not always available, but Jesus' peace is always available. The peace by the world is not always available. That is why there will be sometimes everything will look peaceful, but suddenly the peace will be loved, will be lost, and there will be crises, there will be tumor, there will be running out of scatter, there will be rumor, rumor of war, rumor of this, rumor of this danger. Now it means the art have lost the peace. So it means the peace given by the word is not constant. It's not always available. So Jesus said, hey, I, am, I don't give my peace the same way the world gives. Why? I give it always. My peace is always available unto you. Amen. So when he was going, he knew the situations that's going to lie ahead. So he did not just leave us you know, without adequate preparations. Amen. So he said, my peace I give unto you. In the book of John chapter 16, verse 33. John chapter 16, if you look at verse 3, he said, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations. He knew a time of tribulations will come. Amen. He said, but I speak to you before the arrival. Now, I prepare you before the arrival of the tribulations. Why did I prepare you? I'm releasing my peace unto you. He said, in the world, you shall have tribulations. He said, but be of good cheers. I have what? I have overcome the war for you. Praise the Lord. So the peace that Jesus Christ gives is to abide with us, is to remain with us, is to equip us to overcome the tribulations that we are in or the lies ahead. Praise the Lord. Now, so he did not just give that peace to decorate our life, but he prepared the peace so that while others are running out of scatter, while others are living in despair, while others are living without hope, 
Amen. We we have hope. I mean, we'll feel secure. We know that our case is what is different. We will not be troubled. We will not be swept away. You know, but what is sweeping others away? Amen. Yes, of course. He, 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 the, 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 the enemy might want to rise to try the peace. The, 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 the situation might want to rise to trouble our peace. But it is for us to ensure that we resist everything that might want to trouble our peace. Even when it was around before, even dropped the peace with us. Amen. When it was around in a bodily form. Amen. Oh, that was a time. I mean, he is the peace personified. That was a time the enemy came. That was a seal that arose and tried to trouble the peace. Amen. Of the disciples. Amen. And he was, he, he expected them to rise to resist that situation. Uh, but the, 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 the disciples, they gave in to the situation. Well, they abandoned the peace. And Jesus was not. And let's look at Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter for look at something in verse 35 and uh, from verse 35 mark chapter uh, mark chapter 4 amen mark chapter 4 he expect us to resist whatever that I want to write the enemy we always want to try we always want to trouble our peace amen now you see mark chapter 4 I read from verse 35 he said and the same day when the evening was come he said unto them let us pass over unto the other side and when they had sent away the multitude they took him even as he was in the ship and there was also with him other little ships and there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship now there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full now the enemy came in to trouble their peace amen jesus was the peace amen he was with them and the bible say and he was in the inner part of the ship asleep on the pillow and they awake him and say unto him, master carest thou not that we perish and he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea hey what are you doing here i am here who are you i'm the peace you know jesus christ introduced himself to the situation he said peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm and he said unto them why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And the fear exceedingly has said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey? Now, he expected them, the enemy came to trouble their peace. The enemy came to, you know, to sweep them away. The enemy came to bring anxiety. So he expected them to rise against the and say, Hey, peace, be still. Uh, but you are troubled. They give in to the threat of the enemy. And Jesus said, no, 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 you must always resist. Now, friends, what am I saying? Now, many of times there could be situations that might want to trouble you. You must not give in to that situation. There could be circumstances that might want to trouble your peace. You must not give in to that circumstance. You must hold on to the peace. Your, the peace of God is your inheritance. Let nothing trouble your heart. Let nothing trouble your peace. Let nothing make you to abandon the peace that he has left with you amen now how can i do that in every situation in every circumstance let your focus be on him amen consider not the situation consider not the circumstance but consider the prince the prince of peace let your focus i mean isaiah chapter 26 look at something very interesting in the book of isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 Isaiah 26, verse 3, it says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Amen. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stay on thee? Not the one that is my state on the situation. Now, God expects us, to, our focus to be on him. God expects that our mind should be on him. Not on the situation, not on what they are saying, not, what, not, not, not on the facts and the evidence that is available, but on on the God of peace that have given us his peace. He said, he will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is still on thee because he trusted indeed. Praise the Lord. Now friends, when situation arises to trouble your peace, let your focus not be on that situation. Oh, many are looking for solution. Oh, I mean, all over the place. Why? Because their focus is on their situation. Many are running elder scatter from pillar to post. Why? Because their family, their mind is on their situation. But the Bible says, when your mind is on God, it will 
keep you in peace. That situation arise just to trouble your peace and you must not allow it. That situation arise just to take away your peace. You must stand against the situation. You must let nothing take away your peace. Praise the Lord. You know, for those that keep their focus on God, their peace will be preserved. Praise the Lord. Friends, you are not without inheritance. Jesus left you, he left me with, his, with the inheritance of his peace. Amen. So when it seems as if the world is in tumor, when it seems as if the world is in crisis, oh, keep your peace. Let your focus be on God. All that might be restless because we are in a restless world. Oh, you should rest. Why? Because the peace of God that passes all understanding is your portion, is my portion. He knew that a time like this will come when there will be no peace. He knew a time like this will come when many will have no peace in their body, in their health, in their home, in their finances, in their job, in their business. Amen. Say, let nothing take away. Let nothing trouble your heart. You know, take my peace. Just let your focus be on me, and then you will dwell in peace. I pray for you. The peace of God will not depart from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said, the peace of God will not depart from you, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. But now listen to this. Now, the Prince of Peace only release or promise his peace to those that he has chosen. Amen. Now, it is not just promised to the world. Amen. He knew the world will suffer tribulations. He knew the world, you know, we uh, the world will try to give peace to his own. But he said, well, that peace might not be guaranteed, might not always be available. In fact, God himself said in the book of Isaiah chapter 44, verse 22, he repeated it in Isaiah 57, verse 21, that there is no peace for the wicked. Now, so it means if you are not born again, if you are not a child of God, if there is no peace for you. I mean, you are a candidate of the crisis. You are a candidate, you know, or, 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 or of the situation that is sweeping others away. But this morning, if you are listening to me, if you are not one of his own, you can give your life to him. When you give your life to him, oh, he will come into your life. And we establish its peace with you. Suddenly, you discover that the anxiety that others have been consumed with, oh, he has no power over you because something else has taken it of you. And what is that? The peace of God. So this morning, if you are not yet a child of God, you are only denying yourself of his free gifts of peace. If you are not yet born again, you are only robbing yourself of peace in times of crisis. But if you are not, I want you. To, I want to encourage you. Give your life to Christ this morning. Become a child of God, and the peace of God will be established with you, even in the name of Jesus. Even in the name of Jesus Christ. But for those of us that are children of God already, we want to pray some prayer this morning. We want to enforce our inheritance. We want to enforce the manifestation of that that we have given by our Lord Jesus Christ. And I see His peace manifesting all around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say, I see His peace manifesting in our lives, in our body, in our home, in our businesses, even in the name of Jesus Christ. So let's get set to pray now. Close your eyes and make up your mind to pray. Pray with fire. The Lord that answered Elijah, He will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire. Today, 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 The Lord that answered Elijah, He will answer me by fire. He will answer me by fire today. You want to cry to the Prince of Peace to establish his peace with you all the days of your life. Are you ready to pray? Say Prince of Peace. Can you please call him one more time? Say Prince of Peace. Let your peace be established with me 
all the days of my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Prince of peace, let your peace be established with me all the days of my life. Establish your peace with me every single days of my life. Let your peace be established with me all the days of my life. Prince of peace, establish your peace with me all the days of my life. Prince of peace, establish your peace with me all the days of my life. Prince of peace, establish your peace with me all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, establish your peace with me, Prince of Peace. Establish your peace with me all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, establish your peace with me all the days of my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Now, say, every enemy of my peace, can you say with fire? Every enemy of my peace be arrested and destroyed now by fire. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every enemy of my peace be arrested and destroyed now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy of my peace, I command, we have be arrested and destroyed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is existing as an enemy to my peace, we have be arrested now and destroyed by fire. Every enemy of my peace be arrested and destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy of my peace be arrested and destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every enemy of my peace be arrested and destroyed now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Now, in the book of Psalm, Psalm 119, verse 165, God talks about great peace. Great peace. Now, so that's why you want to pray this prayer. Let God establish his great peace with you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh God of peace, can you please call him with all your heart? O oh God of peace, give me great peace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray for great prayer. Oh God of peace, give me great peace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of peace, give me great peace. Establish your great peace with my life all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Establish your great peace in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Establish your great peace in my life all the days of my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh God of great peace. 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 Give me great peace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me great peace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray amen you want to command any power that is standing against your peace let that power crumble now and let it die in the name of jesus christ say any power can you say with fire any power standing against my peace i command Crumble now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Any power that is standing against my peace, I command you who oh, yeah, crumble now in the name of Jesus Christ. Power standing against my peace. Why are you still standing? I command in the name of Jesus. Who oh, yeah, crumble now? I say crumble now. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Power standing against my peace. Oh yeah, crumble now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Power standing against my peace. Oh yeah, crumble now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lagabo rodo zuli kaliba sheli barada sendele bobo shuli handa baraba. Thank you, faithful father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.
Amen. Now, in the book of 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 2, the Bible talks about multiplied peace. Peace that is being multiplied. So, you want to cry to God, let God multiply his peace in your life. Let God multiply his peace in your, in your life. Say, O oh God of heaven and earth, can you please call in with all your heart? O oh God of heaven and earth, multiply unto me your peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray for multiply peace in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God of heaven and earth, multiply your peace in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Multiply unto me your peace in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God of heaven and earth, multiply your peace in my life. Multiply your peace in my home. Multiply your peace in my ministry. Multiply your peace in my career. Multiply your peace in my household. O oh God of heaven and earth, Iladaba shall multiply your peace in my life multiply your peace in my home multiply your peace in my body multiply your peace in my finances multiply your peace in my hair God of heaven and earth multiply unto me your peace 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 in the name of Jesus Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, you want to command whatever is working against your peace, let it expire now by fire. Are you ready to pray? Say, in the name of Jesus, can you say with fire? In the name of Jesus, I command whatever is working against my peace, Expire now by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Whatever is working against my peace, I command in that name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is working against the peace of my home, in the name of Jesus. Oh yeah, expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is working against peace in my body, I command you to expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is working against the peace in my business, oh yeah, expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is working against peace in my household, I command, oh yeah, expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever it is that is working against oh, the peace of my life, oh yeah, expire now. I say expire now. I say expire now. Oh, yeah, expire now. Every situation, every circumstance, every covenant, whatever it is that is working against my peace, that is working against the peace in my marriage, that is working against the peace in my household, that is working against the peace in my ministry, that is working against the peace in my career. Oh yeah, expire now. Expire now. Expire now. Expire now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Randalabo Shedi Allah, Ila Gadabaradabo. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, in the book of First King, chapter four, verse twenty-four, the Bible talks about all and peace, all and peace. Peace at home, peace at work, peace on the way, peace in the day, peace in the night, peace in the body, peace in the finances, all and peace. You want to cry to God to establish all and peace with you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh God of heaven and earth, can you please call in with all your heart? O oh God of heaven and air, give me all and peace all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, begin to pray that prayer. Father, all and peace. O oh God of heaven and air, give me all and peace all the days of my life. Peace in the day, peace in the night, peace when I'm in, peace when I'm outside, peace in my ministry, peace in my household. Lord, all and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, 
Father, give me all and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me all and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me all and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, all and peace, O Lord. Father, give me as you gave to the people of old. Give me all and peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me all and peace. Lord, give me all and peace. Lord, give me all and peace. Let there be peace for me all around. Let there be peace for me all around. Let there be peace for me all about me. In the name of Jesus Christ. All the days of my life, let me have all and peace, Lord. All the days of my life, let me have all and peace, Lord. Even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray whatever is troubling your peace? Let God arise and deal with it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O God of heaven and earth, can you please call it with all your heart? O God of heaven and earth, anything whatsoever that is troubling my peace, arise and deal with it now permanently in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. O oh God of heaven and earth, anything whatsoever that is troubling my peace, Father, arise and deal with it permanently now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is troubling the peace in my heart, arise and deal with it permanently now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is, whatever is troubling the peace of my finances, arise and deal with it permanently now in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is troubling the peace of my Ministry, whatever is troubling the peace of my home, whatever is troubling the peace of my career, whatever is troubling my peace, oh God of heaven and earth, arise and deal with it, deal with it permanently, Lord, deal with it permanently, let it be no more, deal with it now and permanently, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, every troubler of my peace, whatever it is that is troubling my peace, arise. Arise in your power. Arise in your mind. Deal with it permanently now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 12, the Bible talks about peace like a river. Peace like a river. Oh, a life that has peace like a river begin to swim in peace. You want to cry to God? Let God establish peace like a river, even in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now say, Father, can you please call it with all your heart? Say, Father, give me peace like a river. All the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go ahead and begin to pray that prayer. Father, give me peace like a river all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me peace like a river all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me peace like a river all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Give me peace like a river all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me peace like a river all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, give me peace like a river all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You want to pray? You want to command every troubler of your peace that enough is enough. Let the troubler of your peace, let it die now by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say, every troubler of my peace. Can you say with boldness? Every troubler of my peace. 
enough is enough therefore die now by fire in the name of jesus christ troubler of my peace enough is enough we are die now by fire in the name of jesus christ every troubler of my peace enough is enough we are die now by fire in the name of jesus christ you troubler of my peace enough is enough we are die now by fire in the name of jesus christ thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we pray amen now you want to pray this prayer in the book of philippians chapter 4 verse 7 the bible talks about a peace that passes all understanding now that you have a peace and people wonder ah, every world every world has been troubled and then even the trouble seems around you and you are not perturbed and they wonder what is wrong with this man that's a peace that passes all human understanding you want to ask God to establish that peace with you all the days of your life. Say, O oh God of peace, can you please call him with determination? Say, O oh God of peace, your peace which passes all which passes all understanding, bestow on me now and all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. O oh God of peace, your peace which passes all understanding, bestow on me now and all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God of peace, your peace which passes all understanding, bestow on me now and all the days of my life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh God of peace, your peace which passes all understanding, bestow on me now and all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace which passes all understanding. Father, please bestow this peace on me. Bestow this peace on me. Establish this peace in my life. Establish it now and all the days of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Peace that passes all understanding. Peace that passes all understanding. Father, bestow that peace on me. Bestow that peace of my household all the days of my life. Even in the name thank you faithful father in jesus mighty name we pray amen now finally before i pray for you you want to pray this prayer you want to command any vow against your peace let that vow backfire by fire. Whoever I vow that you will not have peace, whoever I vow that your household will not be in peace, whoever I vow that there shall be no peace in your business or your ministry, let the vow return back to them sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, say any vow against my peace. Can you say with authority, any vow against my peace? I command backfire sevenfold in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and pray that prayer any vow against my peace i command who oh, yeah, are backfire sevenfold in the name of jesus christ any vow against my peace who oh, yeah, are backfire sevenfold in the name of jesus christ any vow against the peace in my home against the peace in my marriage against the peace in my ministry against the peace in my body any vow from whatever I command in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, backfire sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Backfire sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want to pray for you now, and I want your amen to roar like a thunder. Whatever you have, as you say amen to this prayer, the manifestation of the answer shall suddenly begin in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you because you are the most high. You are the God that answered by fire. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray for everyone that is listening to me via this medium. Whatever inherited covenant that is recycling the chains and affliction of their father's house, of their mother's house in their life, I challenge that covenant by the blood of Jesus. I command that covenant to be broken now in the mighty name 
name of Jesus Christ. Any bloodline altars that contended with the manifestations of the glory of their fathers, that contended with the manifestations of the glory of their mothers, that is now operating in the life of anyone that is hearing me. Lord, I challenge that altar by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command that altar to catch fire. Let it burn to ashes now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, whatever spiritual prison that anyone hear me, oh God, oh parents were in before when they were given back to, I command that prison to release them now. I say, come out of that prison in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your destiny out of that prison in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your glory out of that prison in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, concerning this, my brethren that are listening, O God, I ask of you, you are the Prince of Peace. Let your peace be established with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your peace be established in their home, in their ministry, in their career, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the God of peace. Father, I ask of God that great peace, that great peace, that great peace by you. Father, establish in their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, for every of my hearer, I cry unto you, Father, please multiply your peace unto them. In the name of Jesus Christ, multiply your peace unto them, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, God of heaven and earth, concerning every of my hearer now, I ask, O oh God, let there be all and peace for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be all and peace about them, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give them a peace like a river. Let my hearer, let this brother listen to me now, this sister, let him begin to swim in the ocean of your peace. Let your daughter begin to swim in the river of your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, the peace that passeth all understanding. Lord, release Release to all my hearer now in the name of Jesus Christ. Your peace that passeth all understanding. Father, release it now even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, what Whatever is whoever or whatever is the enemy of the peace of your children, let it be arrested now. Let it be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever power that is standing against the peace of your children, let that power crumble now. Let it exist no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is that is working against the peace of your children, Lord, I command Mandy to expire now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lubarada Shende Lihanda Huri Ende. Whatever it is that is troubling the peace of your children, Lord, I command it to exist no more. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every troubler of the peace of your children, the trouble of the peace of their home, the trouble of the peace of their destiny, my father, my God. I ah, please arrive. Deal with the troubler of their peace and let the troubler exist no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, whatever vow against the peace of any of this my hearer, Lord, I command the vow to backfire sevenfold. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, as your children will be praying their personal prayer now unto you, I join my faith with their own, I join my voice with their voices. Lord, whatever they ask of you, Father, please let it be done unto them. Father, answer them now. Father, answer them speedily and let their joy be fully there. Even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my precious Father. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let somebody shout hallelujah. I want to assure you the peace of God that passeth all understanding is with you now and all the days of your life. 
in the name of Jesus. So nothing to be afraid of. Let nothing troubles you. Whatever troubles other, don't allow it to trouble you because the peace of God that passes all understanding is with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now I want you to listen to this. If you are blessed this morning, which I'm sure you've been blessed, because God of heaven have descended with his peace into your life, and your life can never be troubled again, even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now, if you want to give your offering to God now, amen, you need to say thank you to the God of all peace. You want to give your offering to him, or you want to give your tithe unto him, I would like to pray for you now and direct you out to give your offering and tithe unto him. Father, in the name that is above every other name, I lift up your children that are proposed in their hearts after listening to your message and believing that you have answered and you have established your peace in their life now and forever. They have decided to give an offering unto you, to give their tithe unto you. Father, please accept their offerings in the name of Jesus Christ. Accept their tithes even in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, remember this, their offering always. Remember this, their tithe always and let your peace never be taken away from them. Let your blessing continue to be seen in their life, even in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, you can send your offering by transfer to the account of the ministry. The account number is double one four zero one five one seven zero seven i take it again double one four zero one five one seven zero seven the account is with polaris bank it's a savings account with polaris bank and the name of the account is fire on the move worldwide praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah can we share the grace and the fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Lift up your right hand. Say, I am God's fire on the move. I am God's fire on the move. I am God's fire on the move. At my appearance, darkness must disappear i am god's fire on the move whatever that cannot stop god will not be able to stop me i am god's fire on the move amen let's shout one big hallelujah to the most high hallelujah amen god bless